Here are the two VTXs, and there's really not a lot in it, uh, only in terms of cabling and how they look. The Sky Zone uses this single cable going into the side, which I've then split off into a JST and uh, a sort of server extension. The Airway uses two cables, and I have to say they feel a lot more substantial and nice. Um, so this main one came unsoldered which I've put on um, a servo extension to put the video in. Slightly confusingly, because it's got an extra 5 volt out, it's got two black cables in there. One is the ground, the thicker one, and the other one is an audio cable. Uh, and obviously it's got its separate JST. Um, rubber ducks also just a touch different with the AMA I think a slightly longer one, for what reason we don't know. We're going to try them on rubber ducks anyway, just to see how they get on. I wanted to put these head-to-head -head with another very cheap VTX, uh, and this one's actually got a camera combination. This is the EA Sheen. Um, I think I'm saying that right, VTX. Uh, a bunch of people have reviewed this, although mainly as the camera and VTX set, so I was interested to know how it would go as just a VTX. Unfortunately, it's only available from... Banggood in the UK with an RPSMA adapter, which I don't really have any uh, antennas on RPSMA, and I didn't really want to use a converter, so I, I've, I figured I might just wait until they hopefully introduce the, the SMA version. So failing that, what I actually did was add my Immersion 600 milliwatt VTX as well, just as a, a test against them, because essentially this is what I'm going to be looking to possibly use instead. If I can buy uh, more than three of these little VTXs for the price of one immersion, uh, then that's a pretty good deal. So I mounted this uh, up on my quad there with um, the GoPro 2 on a 2-axis gimbal, and my idea was to do a quick flight up to the underfield and back. Uh, and this is my quick GoPro video, speeded up eight times just to show uh, what the general idea was and what the, the flying site was like at the time. So I've tried to vaguely sync these up and it's kind of okay. I, I, as you see, I'm not using any sort of OSD here to give the uh, a, a good fair representation of the, the output. So this is um, all the VTXs flying on the rubber duct Omni type antennas, um, just going to the field and back again. My initial impression from this is that I thought the Sky Zone got a little bit more noise than the others. Um, although looking at it on the big screen, it's not vastly different between all of them. They all seem to get a little bit of interference on the turn towards the end of the field. Um, but again, they all cope pretty well. Um, although for that little bit of noise, I'm I'm more convinced by the AMA over the Sky Zone. Over larger distances, noise might become more apparent and turn into bigger interference. You'll notice as I'm coming back, um, I've got a variety of people. I had um, a man come to talk to me who was quite interested in, in looking at the quad and what I was up to on the AMA. Uh, on the Sky Zone, uh, a couple of dogs decided they were going to attack the quad and so sat underneath it. So if the speed goes a bit funny, it's because I had to hover there for several minutes while they went away. So I've actually speeded up that footage until they um, actually disappeared and I could land safely. Well, I didn't think I got a real conclusive result using that, so what I decided to do is, in turn, swap a skew planar antenna and fly again, um, just swapping between them as I went. So this is that flight again uh, this time on skews, and we have a slightly better picture. Again, over this sort of distance, it's not, it's not massive, and it's about 300 meters to the end of the field, so it's not, it's not a huge distance at all. Um, I kind of drifted off on the immersion RC here, where I thought I saw some deer, but it just looks like some, some blobs, uh, on the grass. So this isn't very well synced at all because I seem to be flying at different speeds. 
again, the overall impression I got through the goggles was that the Sky Zone was giving out slightly more noise than the other two. Um, I couldn't really get any sort of impression of difference between the Amway and the Immersion RC, uh, which is pretty good because, as I said, you could buy more than three Amways for the price of one Immersion RC. Um, it's on this turn where we seem to get a slightly worse signal on all of them, uh, and you can see the Sky Zone here just drops out just a little bit more than the others uh, and seems to get just a bit more noise in there. Although I tried to keep vaguely the same height and vaguely the same speed, as you can see, I didn't. I didn't really do it. Um, I also seemed to be getting a bit looser with how I was coming into land. So the sky zone, I actually flew first here on the fresh battery, and so came into land quite quickly. The aim way, I decided to do a circle, and the emotion RC, which was the last battery where I still had a good six minutes left, I've just decided to go off all over the place. In fact, again, I went off so far that um, I've had to slow down some of the other footage just so I could go ahead and do the landing with the Emotion RC kit. So in conclusion, there's no real losers here. They both worked. Um, they both handled the Emotion RC frequencies well. I was using the internal receiver in my goggles. They're both absolutely fine. Which one would I choose? The Anyway. There's two reasons. Firstly, um, I've already had one dodgy uh, sky zone, and I know a few other people have as well. So, is the build quality hit and miss? Perhaps. The other reasons, uh, I think it looked a little bit noisier. You'll have to watch the footage and, and make your own uh, judgment on that one. But for me, it, the feel just wasn't quite there. The Anyway, on the other hand, uh, a solid from being less noisy also has a 5 volt regulated out which you could use to power a 5 volt camera if you had one or possibly power a Mobius or 808 camera. I, I don't know exactly what ampage that supports um, but it's it's a possibility certainly for powering a camera it would work uh, but the real winners are us these are just dirt cheap. I mean, like I said, and I've said it twice already, compared to an Emotion RC, which really has set the standard, this is a third of the price. Um, and most of us don't fly huge distances where we actually need 600 milliwatts. Um, and at this price, you feel a little bit less precious about them. So they're great for putting on the mini quad uh, and just going out there and crashing it. So that's what I think. If I can get hold of some others to do some um, more comparisons against them, I will, and I'll update you if that happens. But for now, bye-bye.